Welcome to Infos Women's Empowerment. I am definitely MJ. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, I want to talk to you today about I love my son. And it's okay to love your son, of course. That void, um, the feeling of a son uh, that's felt by a mother, it's, it's something so special and so deep. It's almost unexcribable. But one thing I want you to know, ladies, uh, especially the ladies, if you're in a relationship, you're married or long relationship, and you have a child, a son, a beloved son, uh, sometimes un I call it the unconscious, deeper love, almost a replaceable love. Uh, as women, all of us are born with this feeling of just wanting to be loved. Listen to my podcast. I just want to be loved. Um, that we want this love, uh, this void that some of us have, not all of us, but we all want to be loved as a woman. But one thing I do know is that, uh, sometimes we have this inner void, especially if we're in a relationship, a long-term marriage, short-term marriage, engagement, whatever. And we have, um, that man is not filling that void that we really want him uh, to do the way how we want it to do as ladies. Or if we've been dating, we're single and we've been dating and uh, sometimes we don't even want to date. There's some ladies who don't even want to date. They don't feel like it. They don't have the feeling because that son, whether he's a child or adolescent or an adult, especially if he's an adult and he's living with you, tends to be that person to fill the void. I call it the unconscious emotion, where you don't even care if you're with an, uh, a man in, who's in your life who doesn't, who's not filling your void because you know that you have tried and it's not working. So you take that energy of wanting to be loved from him Onto your son. So all the energy, all the void, you use him, that void, to fill it. It's almost like he's a newborn baby. And I even hear this among some women who are single. Like, oh, I don't feel like I need to have anybody. I have my son. And sometimes good men come your way, ladies. Um, but because you have this son who you think is uh, feeling this temporary void of the unconscious void of just wanting to be loved, you allow that energy that you have and you just put it all on, on your son. And it can be really damaging in the long run because um, eventually he needs to become a man, a real man. And you don't want him to start to unconsciously pick up where you are going to leave off. And he's going to attract a, a, a mama's boy type of relationship where he's going to look for somebody to do what you're doing for him. The extra, the extra mile. Because when that relationship has developed, that uh, mother and son beyond love, I call it the beyond love, uh, that I just want to be loved. And you use your son to fill that void. Uh, it's deadly for him. Okay, so, and it can be deadly for you too because you might not allow him to date or to leave. You're going to always say, well, he's never going to leave home. And you don't want that. You want him to be a mature man that God has created him to be. Like, he has a destiny and some of us will hold our sons back. And sometimes the destiny could be with this other woman, right? This woman who is going to bring him to another level that he can't even imagine but because you're holding on to him as your uh, unconscious husband he can't develop all the characteristics that he was born with to be this this blessed man because he's so dependent on you to do everything for him to step in for him to intervene for him to cook for him to wash for him to and then he doesn't even have the desire to leave home you know some men like in their 50s, early 50s, and they haven't developed even to get their own place. And then they've been living with their mom, and their mom probably passes away, and they don't even, their neighbor's not even on the lease. And then here you go, a second 
generational financial curse. You know, instead of her to push him out and allow him to get his own place, get him a stable job so that, God forbid, which eventually does happen, she passes away and he's left with nothing. Then what happens is, most times is that he will find a woman, maybe an older woman, or a younger woman who has her stuff together and begin to live with her. And then she will have to pick up where the other mother left off. We don't want that for our son, lady. So I know it's difficult. I know that sometimes there's a, a void, especially if you've been dating around and you haven't been able to find the right one and you just want to be loved and you just use the energy and put it on that son, even your daughter, uh, or just you're in a relationship with your husband and he's not doing what you want to do. You just want what you want, whatever your needs are, you begin to use that energy and push it on your son. And he makes you so happy to the point where you're like, he's not leaving my house. He could be there forever. And um, we don't want that. We want to have an awareness, ladies, that uh, it's not healthy for you because there may be somebody out there who really wants to show you, I just want to be loved. And you may be losing out on that. And sometimes we give this man a chance and then we lose him because we just can't stop showing all these extra emotions on that man. So, ladies, listen, I am definitely MJ. Be blessed.